Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about zero, negative, and rational exponents. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's start with zero exponents. Now in zero exponents class, this will be really easy for us to solve this one. Because any letter, any number, any equation raised to the power of zero, your answer is one. Okay, so we have a raised to the power of zero, the answer is one. That's it class. Easy for the zero exponents, right? So if you have an equation, if you have a number, a letter raised to the power of zero, your answer is just one. So let's try example number one. X raised to the power of zero, your answer is, that's correct, your answer is one. So the answer for number one is one. That's it. Easy for number one, right? So let's try number two. 3 raised to the power of 0 multiplied by y. So we have 3 raised to the power of 0 times y. So if you have a number together with a variable, it means multiplication. So if the number and the variable are close to each other and there's no operation, it means multiplication class. So 3 raised to the power of 0, of course, this is 1. And then our y here, understood that any variable, any number, if you didn't see, any exponent understood to be 1 class, okay? Once again, if you have 3, if you have a, if you have y, if you have 5, any number, any variable, there is an exponent of 1. That's imaginary class. So we have 3 raised to the power of 1, a raised to the power of 1, y raised to the power of 1, 5 raised to the power of 1. Now, if their exponent is 1, just simply copy this number, copy this letter, copy this letter. Okay, so 3 raised to the power of 1, you can write that one as 3. So that's the same class. So understood that any number, any variable, there is an exponent of 1. So we have y raised to the power of 1. So we can just simply copy y. So 3 raised to the power of 0, that is 1, times y. So times y. So no need to do anything about y because y, the exponent is 1. So just simply copy y. So 1 times y, that is y. 1y or y. So you can put 1y, that's okay. But understood that there's one here for y. So just simply copy y. That's it. Plus. That's the answer for number 2. Easy, right? For number 2. Alright, let's try number 3. So this equation, quantity raised to the power of 0. So all of the numbers, all of the equation is raised to the power of 0. The answer is just 1 plus. Alright, that's it for number 2. So, so easy for numbers 1, 2, and 3. Now, for number 4, we have 5 raised to the power of 0 plus 3. So, 5 raised to the power of 0, that is 1. Then, plus 3. So, that would be 1 plus 3, that is 4. That's it, plus. Alright, let's try number 5. So, 4 raised to the power of 0. Okay, 4 raised to the power of 0, that is 1. Then, plus 8. So, plus 8 over 3. So do not forget, we have over 3. So we have 4 raised to the power of 0, that is 1, then plus 8 over 3. So 1 plus 8, that is 9. Then over 3. So can we divide 9 divided by 3? Yep. 9 divided by 3, that is 3. So that's the answer for number 5. So let's try number 6. So we have this quantity. So we have x raised to the power of 0 plus 5. So we can answer this one as you put quantity x raised to the power of 0, that is 1 plus 5. Alright. And this equation, all of this equation, x plus 25, it is raised to the power of 0. Therefore, this equation x plus 25 is equals to 1. Because all of this equation inside this parenthesis is raised to the power of 0. So therefore, x plus 25, that is equivalent to 1 times 1. So, since we have two quantities, it means multiplication. So, once again, x raised to the power of 0, that is 1, then plus 5. Now, in this second equation, second quantity, x plus 25 is raised to the power of 0, so this is 1. So, we have 1 plus 5, that is 6, times 1, so our answer is 6. Alright, that's the answer for number 6. Let's try number 7. So, could you try this one class, number 7, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand our topic. So, you try this one, 1 half raised to the power of 0 multiplied by 1 fourth, and tell me what's the answer class. 
Okay, you try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below for number 7. Alright, so let's try negative exponents. So we're done with zero exponents. So zero exponents. Next, next thing class is we will be dealing with negative exponents. Alright, so you pause the video because I will be erasing this one. We will be discussing the negative exponents. Alright, so our next topic will be the negative exponents. So just bear with me class, we will be explaining this one step by step. Alright, let's start with negative exponents. So in negative exponents class, if you have a raised to the power of negative n, that is equivalent to 1 over a raised to the power of n. And if you have 1 over a raised to the power of negative n, that's equivalent to a raised to the power of n. So we will be explaining this one class step by step. So once again, you need to master class the loss of exponents be before answering the zero, negative, and rational exponents. Because in the loss of exponents class, you can also apply this negative exponents. But we will be explaining this one class step by step. Do not be worried. So a raised to the power of negative n. So if you have an equation raised to the power of a negative number or negative exponent, the thing that we will do is we need to get the reciprocal. So example class, if you have x raised to the power of negative 2, the thing that we will do, understood that any variable, any letter, any number, there is a denominator of 1. Okay? There is a denominator of 1. Just get this reciprocal class. This one will be your numerator. So this one will be your numerator. And this x will be your denominator. So to get the reciprocal, just simply flip the equation class. This x will be your denominator. And this one will be your numerator. So get the reciprocal, that will be 1 over x raised to the power of 2. And this negative exponent will be positive. So that's the thing there, class. Let's try another example, class. x raised to the power of negative 3. So once again, understood that any number, any letter, there is a denominator of 1. Just get the reciprocal, that will be 1 over x raised to the power of 3. That's it, class. Easy, right? So let's try another example. What if we have a number? 1 over, or let's have 2 raised to the power of negative 3. So understood, once again, any number, there is a denominator of 1. Get the reciprocal, that would be 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. This negative 3, it becomes positive. And can we still simplify this one? Yep, we can still simplify this one. 2 raised to the power of 3, it means that you multiply this 2 by itself 3 times. So 2 raised to the power of 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2. It's not 2 times 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. So the final answer is 1 over 8. So that's the thing there, class, if you have a negative exponent. You get the reciprocal. Okay, so you pause the video, I'll be erasing this example. But do not be worried, we will have more examples, class. So we will have eight examples for negative exponents. All right, now next question, sir. What if the negative exponent is on denominator? Okay, what if they, if you have a negative exponent that would be on denominator? So the thing that we will do is we will just put this negative exponent on the numerator and the exponent will be positive. So that's the thing there. So example, if you have one over x raised to the power of negative five, to make this one into positive because we're not allowed class to have a negative exponent. It should be positive exponent class. Okay? It should be a positive exponent. So if you have a negative negative exponent on denominator, the thing that we will do is we will just put it on the numerator to make this one positive. Okay? Just put this one on the numerator and this exponent will be positive. That would be x raised to the power of 5. And that's it, class. That's the answer there. Example, you have 1 over 3 raised to the power of negative 2. So since we have a negative exponent on denominator, just put it on the numerator and the exponent will be positive. So that would be, so you still have 1. Okay, you still have 1, so copy 1. Then you put this 3 raised to the power of negative 2 on the top. So this will be times, so since you put this on the top, 
it should be multiplication. 1 times this equation. 1 times 3 raised to the power of 2. So make this exponent into positive. So 1 times this equation, simply copy 3 raised to the power. Any number multiplied by 1, the answer is the equation or the number itself. So 1 times 3 raised to the power of 2, that would be 3 raised to the power of 2. And 3 raised to the power of 2, it means you multiply this equation by itself twice. So 3 raised to the power of 2, it means 3 times 3. So 3 times 3, that is 9. So that's the answer there. So the thing that we will do, class, that you need to remember in negative exponent, if you have a negative exponent on the numerator, put it on denominator and the exponent will be positive. Now, if you have a negative exponent on the denominator, put it on the numerator and the exponent will be positive. I hope you understand this one, class. That's the negative exponent, class. That's the thing there. So I hope it's clear for you, but do not be worried. We will give more examples. So let's try number one. What if we have x raised to the power of negative 4. What's the answer, class? That's correct. Since we have a negative exponent on the numerator, we put it on denominator, and the exponent will be positive. So you put it on denominator, that will be x raised to the power of 4. Of course, there should be 1 here, because understood that there's 1, you get the reciprocal, that would be 1 over x raised to the power of 4. That's the answer, class, for number 1. Easy, right? For number 1. So let's try number 2. What if we have 2 raised to the power of negative 3? What's the answer, class? So 2 raised to the power of 3. Now, since we have a negative exponent on the numerator, we put it on denominator, class, so that the exponent will be positive. So that would be 2 raised to the power of 3. And do not forget 1, class, because there is a denominator of 1 here. Get the reciprocal. That would be 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. Put it on denominator, and the exponent will be positive. So this will be 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. It means you multiply this 2 by itself 3 times. This is equivalent to 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. That's it, plus 1 over 8. Easy, right? So let's try number 3. What if we have 1 over 3 raised to the power of negative 3? Now since our negative exponent is on denominator, we put it on the numerator class. So since we still have 1, okay, we still have 1, so copy 1 multiplied by, you put it on denominator, uh, numerator, since this is negative 3 on denominator, we have 3 raised to the power of negative 3, put it on the numerator to make this one into positive, so copy 1 multiplied by, so you put it on the numerator, that will be 3 raised to the power of 3. Alright, so this will be, so you can erase this one because we put it on the on the top. So this will be 1 times this one. So any number multiplied by 1, the answer is this number itself. So copy 3 raised to the power of 3. And what would be 3 raised to the power of 3 class? 3 raised to the power of 3, it means 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27. Alright, that's it class. That's the answer for number 3. So let's try number 4. So number 4. So you put it here. Let's put it here. Number 4. 3 raised to the power of x. Uh, no, 3x raised to the power of negative 5. Then y raised to the power of negative 4. Alright. So what, what would be the answer, class? That's correct. So let me explain this one. Now our 3 here, the exponent is 1. So understood that the exponent of 3 here is 1. So nothing to do with 3. Simply copy 3. 3 will, st will be still on the numerator. Copy 3. Now we have x raised to the power of negative 5. Since this is negative 5, we put it on denominator. Okay, so we have x raised to the power of negative 5. Put it on denominator. That will be x raised to the power of 5. Now we have y raised to the power of negative 4. To make this one into positive, we put it on the numerator. So put it on the top, that would be y raised to the power of 4. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 4. Easy, right, for number 4? So I hope you're still with me, with me with negative exponent, class. So let's try, let's try two examples, class. Let's try last two examples. So pause the video, I'll be erasing this one. Or let's try three examples, class three examples. So what if we have 
Okay, negative 5, x raised to the power of negative 4, y raised to the power of 5. Alright, so what would be our answer class? So once again, there are so many students, they will be confused with this one since we have a negative number. Now, if you have a negative number class, do not be worried. You need to check the exponent class. Once again, if you have a negative number, do not think it this way. Since this is negative, you put it on the denominator. So once again, there are some students, they think it this way. If they have a negative number, they put it on the denominator directly. No, it's not. Okay, that's not the answer class. You always check the exponent. Once again, you will always check the exponent. If the exponent is negative and it's on the numerator, you put it on the denominator. If the exponent is negative on the denominator, you put it on the numerator. But since this negative 5 class, the exponent is positive class. This negative 5, this is just sine class. The, the value of 5 is negative. But the exponent class is positive 1. Always remember this one class. Be careful with this one. This negative 5, the exponent is positive 1. The sign is just negative. Okay, the exponent is positive 1. So nothing to do with negative 5. Negative 5 is still on the numerator. I hope you're not confused with that one class. So negative 5 is still on the numerator because the exponent is 1. We only transfer class if the exponent is negative. Now since we have a negative 4 exponent, so we put it on the denominator. So x will be on the denominator, x raised to the power of 4, and 4y the exponent of y is positive 5, so y is still be on the numerator. Nothing to do with y class. Simply copy. That's it class. That's the answer for number 5. Let's try number 6. Okay, last two examples. 2 raised to the power of negative 3 multiplied by 3 raised to the power of negative 0. Alright, what's the answer class? That's correct. So we need to make this one. Since this is negative, we put it on the denominator. So understood that there's 1 here. So there will be 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 multiplied by, so this is negative exponent, we put it on the denominator. So there will be 1, understood that there's 1 here, 1 over 3 raised to the power of 2. And this will be 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 class. What's the answer? So once again, this is multiplication class because we have a quantity. So this equation multiplied by this equation. Now since we have a negative exponent, we put it on the denominator. And understood that there's one here on the denominator, we need to flip class. Make this one will be your numerator and this equation will be on the denominator. So 2 raised to the power of 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 raised to the power of 3, that is 2 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 times 2, that is 8. So this is 1 over 8 multiplied by 3 squared. It means 3 times 3. It's not 3 times 2. It means 3 times 3. That would be 1 over 3 times 3, that is 9. Equal, so the final answer will be, so 1 times 1, that is 1. 8 times 9, that is 72. So multiplying fractions class, multiply the numerator. 1 times 1 is 1. Then multiply the denominator. 8 times 9, that is 72. That's it, class. That's the answer for number 6. Alright, so let's try last example. Then we will be proceeding to the rational exponents. Last one, the rational exponents. But we will try last example. So what if we have 2 raised to the power of negative 3. I ah, know, not, not this one. 15 over 3 x raised to the power of negative 4, x squared, y raised to the power of 3, then y raised to the power of negative 5. So, what would be the answer class? So, first thing to do, you check the number class. Can we divide 15 by 3? Can we divide class 15 by 3? Yep, we can divide 15 by 3. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. So, 15 divided by 3, that is 5. So, 5 will be on the numerator. 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Now next, since we have a negative exponent for x raised to the power of negative, we have x raised to the power of negative 4. So therefore, since this is on the numerator, we put it on the denominator to make this one into positive. So x squared is still positive, so simply copy x squared plus. Nothing to do with x squared. Copy x squared, x squared will be on the denominator since this is positive. 
Okay, we only transfer class if the exponent is negative. Now, since this is positive, nothing to do with x squared class, simply copy x squared. x squared will, will be still on the denominator class. Now, since we have x raised to the power of negative 4, this is negative, we put it on the denominator and it will be positive. So, this will be x raised to the power of 4. Now, since we have a variable close to each other, it means multiplication class. So, we put it on the bottom part. So, this will be x raised to the power of positive 4. Now, since we have x squared here first, so therefore, we need to multiply this equation. So, once again, if you have variable close to each other, it means multiplication. So, y cube, copy. So, y cube is still on the numerator because this is positive. Then, this y raised to the power of negative 5, we put it on the numerator and this is negative, it will be positive. So, y raised to the power of 5. Of course, this will be multiplication because we have two variables close to each other. So, there will be 5. Then, if you're multiplying class, the product rule, if they have the same base, same y, copy y, then you will add the exponent. 3 plus 5, so that will be 8. And this one, same base, x, copy the base, then you will add the exponent. Product rule class x squared times x raised to the power of 4, same base, copy x, then you add exponent. So I'm sure you know this one class because before going to zero negative and rational exponents, you need to master the loss of exponent. So 2 plus 4, that is x raised to the power of 6. That's it class. This is the answer for this example. Alright, so you try to answer this one class. This will be example number 8. So you try to answer this one and you put your answer on the comment section down below. Just try this one class. 5 over 2 raised to the power of negative 3. So you try this one and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really and really understand this negative exponent rule. Alright, so let's try last one class. The rational exponent rule. So rational exponent rule. All right, so you th let's try this one. So let me erase this one class. I hope you understand this negative exponents. So you try to answer this one class, number eight example. So we're done with negative exponents. So we will be dealing with rational exponents. So rational exponents, a raised to the power of p over q. So if you're dealing with rational exponents class, it means that you're dealing with fractions. Exponents of fractions. Okay, fractional exponents class. So let's try an example class. If you have a raised to the power of pq, then quantity raised to the power of m. So therefore, you need to multiply the exponents. So that would be a raised to the power of pq times m. Okay, so once again, the exponents are fractions. So let's try an example class for you to understand this one. So what if we have 3 raised to the power of 1 half times 6. So 3 raised to the power of 1 half times 6. So this will be example number 1. So the thing that we will do is we just simply multiply this exponent. So that would be 3 raised to the power of 1 half times 6. So, 1 half times 6 plus, what's the answer? So, 1 half times 6, so that would be 1 times 6, that it understood that there's 1 here. 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2. Can we divide 6 by 2? Yep, 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So, therefore, this is 3 raised to the power of 2. So, what would be 3 raised to the power of 2 plus? That's correct, 3 raised to the power of 2, it means 3 times 3. It's not 3 times 2 class, it means 3 times 3. And 3 times 3, that is 9. So that's it class. That's the answer for number 1. So just simply multiply the exponents class, the fraction and this exponent outside. So once again, 1 half times 6, there are some students class that they can just simply cancel this out because we can divide 6 by 2. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Or get the common factor class. Okay, the least and uh, the greatest common factor. So 6, we can divide this one by 2. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3. 2 divided by 2, divided by 2, that is 1. And then 1 times 3, that is 3. Understood that there's 1 here. 
1 times 1. Instead of 2, it make, it becomes 1. So 1 times 1, that is 1. 3 divided by 1, that is 3. So same answer class. It depends on you which do you prefer. Alright, let's try another example. What if we have example number 2? So what if we have 5, 2 over 3 multiplied by 3. Okay, 5 raised to the power of 2 over 3, quantity raised to the power of 3. So how will you answer that one? That's correct. Just simply distribute the exponent or multiply the exponent. So that would be 5 raised to the power of 2 over 3 times 3. Alright, just simply multiply the exponent. So multiply the exponent plus 2 over 3 times 3. So understood that any whole number, whole number 3, there is an expo a denominator of 1. So 2 times 3, that is 6. 3 times 1, that is 3. Can we divide 6 divided by 3? Yep, 6 divided by 3, that is 2. So therefore, okay, therefore this will be equal to 5 raised to the power of 2. So 2 over 3 multiplied by 3. The answer is 6 over 3. Divide 6 over 3. You can divide. The answer is 2. So 5 squared. Now what is 5 squared plus? 5 squared, it means 5 times 5. It doesn't mean 5 times 2 plus. It means you multiply this 5 by itself twice. 5 times 5, that is 25. That's it plus. That's the answer for number 2. So let's try number so number 3 so we have 2 raised to the power of 6 x raised to the power of 8 y raised to the power of 4 quantity raised to the power of 1 half so what would be the thing that you will do class so raised to the power of 1 half once again this answer is 25 so once again just simply distribute class distribute the exponent Alright, so this will be 2 raised to the power of, so 6 times 1 half, that would be 6 times 1 half. Then copy x raised to the power of 8, distribute the exponent times 1 half. Then y raised to the power of 4 times 1 half. And our answer will be, so 6 times 1 half, so 6 times 1 half. This will be 6 times 1 is 6. Then understood that there's 1 here. 1 times 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. So this will be 2 raised to the power of 3. So we have 2 raised to the power of 3. Then 8 times 1 half. So 8 times 1 half. So understood that there's 1 here. 8 times 1 is 8. 1 times 2 is 2. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So it would be x raised to the power of 4. Then y, 4 times 1 half, so 4 times 1 half. Understood that there's 1 here, 4 times 1 is 4, 1 times 2 is 2, 4 divided by 2, that is 2. So y raised to the power of 2. And then, can we still simplify class, this one, 2 raised to the power of 3? Yep, we can still simplify this one. 2 raised to the power of 3, it means 2 times 2 times 2. So 2 times 2 times 2. That is 8. So copy 8, then x raised to the power of 4, y raised to the power of 2. That's it, plus. That's the answer for this example number 3. Alright, so easy, right? So I hope you learned something new today, class, for this one. So let me give you an example, class, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let me check if you really understand, if you really understand the topic, class. So what if we have, so example number 4 class. You try this one class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. What if we have 2 raised to the power of 4 over 3 raised to the power of 4. Then quantity parenthesis x raised to the power of 10, y raised to the power of 8, z raised to the power of 6 raised to the power of 1 half. You try this one class. And you put your answer in the comment section down below. So you try this one, number 4, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. So once again, class, if you have some questions, class, with zero, negative, and rational exponents, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below, class, in our YouTube channel. 
you can also message me class in our Facebook channel, same name with our YouTube channel. You can always ask questions class with regards to mathematics. So I hope you learned something new today. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students, especially for those students who are really struggling in mathematics. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. You have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.